So we're moving into the spring and summer, and that means hot weather and sun, which means a lot of detailers like you and I are gonna be washing cars in the sun. So how do you avoid water spots washing in the sun? Should you buy a DI tank? Which one should you buy? Are there other ways to substitute for a DI tank? Let's talk about that right now. I wanna open up with the DI tank that I use professionally. This is called the Pro 100 from Spot Free Water Systems. Now, if you search online for different DI systems, you're gonna find a lot of them that say like RV water system or RV DI tank. The reason is RVs, like big recreational vehicles, use DI water in this capacity. They're running water in the shower, they're running drinking water, and it's all kind of preloaded onto the vehicle, and so they use these systems to deionize the water. So the reason why I use this specific tank is because of the size. Most detailers, when shopping online, are trying to figure out what the difference between DI tanks are, and the reality is the main difference is only the amount of resin that it will hold and potentially what the tank is actually made out of in terms of durability. So for example, I want to compare it to just a generic DI tank that I found on Amazon. There's really no difference between these two things other than like the color of the exterior, right? Now, one of the most popular DI tanks in the detailing world is the spotless water system. This is often what people will hook up on their walls if they're stationary detailers or they'll take as mobile detailers because it comes on kind of a roller. And while I've used all the DI systems that I'm talking about here, the reason I did not go for that particular one while it's very popular is simply because it requires those two tanks and it's a lot to move around. Now, if you're stationary, that's probably not a big deal. And there's also a smaller option, which is basically the tank that's just cut in half that's also available for you there. Now, the last tank that I want to show you guys on screen here is just the smaller tank from Adams. Once again, these tanks are not good or bad or better than the other or worse than the other. Really, the only two things I would look at is the size in terms of how much resin it holds because that's going to indicate how long it will last before you have to change the resin or how long it lasts before you start getting water spots on the paint again. And so the Adams is really small and it's probably really convenient for mobile detailers, but again, the difference is the size. Now I just want to show you the general makeup of the DI tank here because all of these other DI tanks that you buy are going to follow suit in some sort. And the Pro 100 that I have from Spot Free Water Systems has kind of this black head on it where you basically, you screw it into the DI tank, you've got your hose input and output. Of course, both hoses are required because you got to put water in and get water out. And then you got the two red triggers up top that kind of spin open or spin closed, depending on if you want to actually implement the DI water or just use tap water. Now I want to actually wash a black car in direct sun with my DI tank just to illustrate the point here before I share with you guys a much cheaper way to start detailing in the sun without necessarily purchasing the DI tank. So basically I'm foaming this car down not with DI water. I basically want to reserve my DI water just for rinsing. Now this is not always the case because there are times where I might use DI water the entire time because things are drying on the paint so quickly. Quickly, but for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and rinse with tap water. As I start washing, obviously I'm just gonna take it one section at a time, but each time that I rinse each section, I'm going to make sure that I'm actually using DI water. So those red arrows are flipped parallel, pointing outwards, and that's how I know that the water is actually passing through the tank. Now, I just wanna bring you guys in here and show you that I'm letting it dry, right? You can see tons of water beads on the black paint. I'm in the direct sun. One side is in the sun, one side is in the shade. And just to clip forward a little bit, this is what the paint looks like while it is dry. So I did not touch this paint whatsoever with a microfiber towel. I didn't blow it dry. I just let it dry in the sun and there are not any water spots whatsoever anywhere. It's black paint, it's hot outside, it's in the direct sun. Now before I get into the two special chemicals that will allow you to avoid water spots at some level without purchasing a DI tank, I wanna emphasize this. If you are not pulling the trigger on purchasing a DI tank because, for example, the price, number one, I totally don't blame you, though I would suggest as a professional moving into the warm season now, having a small water tank as kind of your beginner starting out DI water tank that you start to use and implement washing cars in the direct sun when it's necessary is going to save you a lot of time. And while yes, you're gonna spend a few hundred dollars, you're gonna be able to get that price point down because you're buying half a tank rather than something like a full tank like I have. And you're going to see immediately how important this is and how much it speeds you up. A lot of detailers really don't understand the cost of their time as they are trying to detail in the sun with hard water. And just to show you guys a quick side by side of average tap water versus deionized water, I've got my little water reader meter here. And in the first one, I'm reading tap water. This is non-deionized water. And basically what this little reader tells me is the parts per million of solids that are inside of 
of the water. So these are little calcium deposits and minerals that I can't see with my naked eye, but there's a ton of them in there. Then when I fill up the next bucket with just deionized water, I stick my parts per million little water reader in there. You can see that the number literally comes back at zero. And so the tank filtered out 100% of those little microscopic solids, which is again why I can spray it on the paint, let it dry. There's no solids left over from the water after it evaporates, and thus I have no water spots. Now, before I tell you guys exactly what those chemicals are or how to use them, in the detailing world, you can get really overwhelmed really quickly trying to find the products and tools you need. So I created a simple top 12 tools and products list that really stands the test of time. So if you're interested in getting that downloadable PDF that gives you all those products and tools with explanations of how to use them and why and where to use them, you can grab that in the YouTube description box below. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some terrible water spots on this blue paint. These are what most water spots look like even accidentally when you're just washing with tap water and you really didn't dry it fast enough or wash it fast enough. They're terrible and they obviously are a huge problem for detailers which is why I think the DI tank or at least the mini tank is going to be the fastest and most convenient solution for most of you guys and I highly suggest purchasing one of those as we move into the warmer months. But the first product that I want to emphasize to you guys is one called Formula 4 Spray Wax. This is essentially a product that creates hydrophobic properties with the water as you are washing which causes the water to roll and bead off the paint quicker leaving less water on the paint to dry, evaporate, and leave water spots. It is not something that gets rid of the solids or deionizes the water. It's simply something that causes the water to, let's say, adhere to the paint less. So just to show you this product in motion, I'm actually spraying this on top of dirty car paint, so I haven't even washed the paint yet. And you guys can see as I'm rinsing off the chemical, it's beating up the water, right? This gives you, as the detailer, extra time to wash and dry. You can spray the product on top of dirty paint, on top of soap paint as you're washing it and you can spray it on top of just wet paint as you are rinsing and I actually suggest doing it in all of those applications. I want to show you guys real quick when I come in with my handheld blow dryer you can see how easily the water is pushed off the paint and so while I'm not letting it dry in direct sun I'm not even touching the paint I'm just blowing it off really quickly and this is a really easy way for those of you who haven't done this to actually in between sections of your wash so I drag my mitt across I spray my formula 4 spray wax and then I rinse it off. I would take my blow dryer and blow off that part. I don't have to mess with a microfiber towel or a drying towel because that takes a lot of time and it's a lot easier to just grab a leaf blower and just blow it off real quick, then move to the next section. Basically what that does is it blows off the majority of the water and even though there's going to be some small tiny residue water left behind, it generally doesn't leave any sort of big water spots or anything like that and it wipes off perfectly with like a final wax or a final sealant and so that's a really easy way to compensate for not having a DI tank. Now as we continue to look at the water beating effect of spraying this chemical on the paint in any condition, and it actually causes that water to roll off the paint. There is one comparable product that I also suggest that's harder to get because generally you have to get it through a distributor, but it's from AutoMagic and it's called Easy Beads. And it's again, just a commercial grade rinsing aid that causes those hydrophobic properties on the paint between the paint and the water and the water rolls off a little bit easier. Again, it doesn't deionize the water. It doesn't get rid of those calcium deposits, those minerals inside the water, but it does give you a little bit more time to blow it off, wipe it off, and the paint comes out looking far less spotty or not spotty at all if you are quick enough using these products. So guys, Guys, there you go. Those are two chemicals that are going to be very helpful for those of you who don't want to drop the money on a DI tank yet. But for those of you who are nervous about it, I really suggest something like the Adams DI tank or something like the Spotless Water Systems half tank or even the Pro 100 has actually a half tank on their website as well. So there'll be Amazon links as well as other website links in the YouTube description box below. Don't overthink the one that you're purchasing. Again, generally the only thing that separates these things is the amount of resin that the tank is able to hold, which just gives you a longer amount of time of DI water or less amount of time. And of course, it's also dependent on how hard the water is in your particular part of the country. The harder the water, the faster you're going to use up the resin. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to deionize the like button by clicking it and turning it blue because it's the only way that I can see that this was valuable for detailers like myself. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I will see you in the next video.